I'll start again. Counselor has completed an investigation into allegations that confidential information was discussed at an in, was disclosed from an in-camera meeting. Councillor Brennan and Councillor Thorpe will be making a statement to Council and to City residents in this open meeting. I would like to now invite them to do so. Councillor Thorpe. Thank you, Your Worship. I would like at this time to make a public apology. Recently I committed a breach of the Community Charter when I commented on information which I did not realize was still in camera. This was an error in judgment on my part. I have apologized to Council and I give assurance that such a mistake will not happen again. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Thorpe. Councillor Brennan will be making a statement at the next open meeting of Council as she is currently seeking legal advice. Council appreciates your candor that you've shown. Thank you. Next item. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Kevin Story, 2562 Rosstown Road, Nanaimo. I'd just like a clarification, if I could, Mr. Mayor. Item 2 under the Mayor's report regarding the uh, confidential information, is that now part of the agenda once it be, he reports that? I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. It, it's public information now. Yes. Okay, fine. I would like to commend uh, Councillor Thorpe for doing the honorable thing and admitting that uh, he did run awry of the municipal charter and apologizing. I have a question for Council. This is a very, very serious incident. Extremely serious. It can damage every bit of work that this council does when it comes to dealing with uh, perhaps property acquisitions or sales, the uh, employment of key personnel, and could undermine the authority or undermine the uh, respect of staff when it comes to dealing with council. Well, a question that I have to ask you, first of all, I want to point out uh, uh, Part 29, Chapter 323 of the Local Government Act allows for investigation, allows for the Attorney General to uh, appoint investigators to investigate incidents such as this and, if necessary, order counsel to take action regarding serious offenses under the Charter or under the Local Governance Act. So a question, a broad question I have for Council. Are you satisfied with an apology? Or do you think further action should be taken? There's more questions. I'll ask all these questions at once. You have a, a person who sits on a Municipal Council that disseminated this information over the internet. Is that person going to be allowed to stay as a committee member for this council when that person by osmosis or by intention has violated his duty as a municipal committee member? Very serious questions, my friends. My last question is to the mayor. Sir, on December the 2nd, you had a conversation with Digby Madan. Do you know Digby Madan from the United Way? I don't know such person. Sydney Madan, sorry, my right. Sydney Madan? Sydney Madden. Madden, sorry. Did you have a conversation with that person on December the 7th? No comment. Hey, Sydney wrote in an email. Sir. Spoke to you sir, sir, on the morning. I know what question you're going to ask, and I'm going to tell you that I have no comment. Right, I will just read the statement then. In an email from this person, 
she or he stated that she had a conversation with the mayor on the morning of December the 2nd. The mayor informed that person that no action was to be taken on this file as there was no evidence of any wrongdoing. That, my friends, is also a distribution of confidential information coming from an in-camera meeting. <coughs> we have three people involved here. The only person that has done the honorable thing at this point and apologized is Councillor Thorpe, and thank you, sir, for that. It's a simple apology enough for this council. Or should you discuss this again and decide whether you should take further action? The people of this community have had enough. Enough information being spread that shouldn't be, and a lack of leadership, votes being ignored, Doherty being ignored, and the citizens being ignored. This council has an opportunity right now to show leadership, to get the courage, to get the strength, if necessary, to censure your own council members. A very, very hard thing to do. But the public are watching. Public want action. I have all my questions. I'll take questions from you if you like. No, I would like to answer your questions. Your first question with respect to uh, respect to whether or not the council has uh, deliberated enough on this issue. My answer is yes, they have at length. Could I ask each council member individually if they agree with that? No, sir. Decision has been made by council. Tonight I reported on the decision that's been made by council. My second question. Can you repeat it, please? Second question was in regard to the individual holding the council committee seat. Mr. Bonner. Sir, uh, council has deliberated on this issue, and I reported tonight council's decision. And your decision was? I'm sorry, I missed it. Decision was tonight that there would be two members of council that would apologize for divulging in-camera information. Sir, I heard that one person apologized and one person is seeking legal advice. I heard one apology. One moment, sir. Ms. Hammer. Councillor Foy. I believe his question was with regards to uh, someone on a committee or some such, and I don't believe we have discussed that or dealt with it at this point. So. Wanted to point out it. Chip, I would caution any discussion or identification of an individual um, for the potential of defamation uh, to that individual. So at this point, we're not in a position to respond to that question. Yep. Mayor is not going to respond to my third question. I will inform Council that we have, as a group, a large group in the community, been in discussion with the authorities in Victoria in regards to uh, Section 323 and a possible investigation. I don't want to threaten Council, I don't want to sound like an ogre, but if this Council does not get serious about having real government in this town, then the citizens are going to have to take over and file a complaint through the Lieutenant Governor. Thank you. Sir, any other questions? Yeah, I do. Councilor Yoko. Oh, thank you. Um, um, thank you for your comments, sir. In regards to um, any conversation from B or C of your questions, not saying any names of any individuals, there was no conversation about, about on those matters in regards to uh, the email from the lady from United Way. Or the second question? 
I did not participate earlier in the conversation and those in those deliberations of any sort. I did not I I did not recall conversations in regards to B or C or questions. So we, we, we just had time to deal with the original questions there. I just wanted to give you what what, what was happening. Mayor the mayor has, uh, had no comment on my second question. That was regarding Yeah, I can't speak for the mayor, but there was no conversation in regards to that question. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Any other questions?